Well, the family of 18-month-old Raylene Richardson, who died this past Friday, is speaking out for the first time and only to WVUA 23 News. Ajene Robinson joins us live tonight from the newsroom with their story. Ajene. Jabbar, you know, it's really devastating to hear about the news, the recent news involving 18-month-old Ray, Raylene. I spoke with her aunt, Talicia Richardson, earlier today to talk about who Raylene was and how the family is coping with their loss. What? What? Hey, Hey. She was the sweetest baby. Like, it, look up at you, smile with the most pretty, glossing eyes ever. And she was just the most sweetest baby anybody could ever want to be around. Because she don't do nothing but just look at you and say, hey, hey, and wave her little hands and walk with the little bow legged legs of her. Talicia Richardson, Raylene's aunt, says she was just on the phone with her sister and Raylene that same day, just a few hours before the incident happened. Then I had got a call like three or four o'clock early that morning. During that time, it, I was already like in shock, like, oh my gosh, this is my knees. Like I was praying already. Richardson says Raylene is in a much better place now and all she can do is rejoice. It was in God's hands and she's with God right now. So I'm not doing nothing but rejoicing and happy that she made it to the gates of heaven and looking down on all of us. Now a GoFundMe has been set up and they've already surpassed their initial goal of $8,000. Now if you'd like to donate, you can go to the page called Our Sweet Baby Raylene. We are beyond, when I say beyond blessed, we are beyond blessed and thanking everyone that's contributing and sending out everything that everybody that's doing for us. We are beyond blessed because we thought we wasn't going to get that much and now knowing that there are people that do care about others, even at the time of grieving, we are super, super blessed from that. Richardson says although Raylene is no longer with us to say thank you, Saturday they saw a sign that said exactly that. Yesterday we seen a huge rainbow that appeared in the sky after it finished stormy yesterday. She was letting us know that she's okay and she want to thank everyone. Now, this is still an active investigation. However, Joseph Earl Jenkins has been charged with capital murder with no bond. Police believe that the toddler had died at the hands of Jenkins, her mother's boyfriend. Now, the body has been sent to Montgomery for an autopsy to determine the exact cause of death. Reporting live, I'm Ajene Robinson, WVUA 23 News. Ajene, 